With that being said, uh, we're gonna go to game number two here. Team 515 versus Jejemon. They are on the verge of a sweep. And actually, Lexa Tierna is a tank support player since um, he was first playing blood. as a pro. But for the meantime, oh look at that first blood. We didn't see, we see we didn't see that happen. But yeah, off come kill. Uh, L gaming kill. will die onto the hands of I think on the top side the Uranus and once more another member died as well. But yeah, oh a lot, a lot of casualties early game time and it's not really that action packed skirmishes that we've seen or missed out from the camera but i, I don't know what these players are doing mm -hmm. um again we, we we can only guess and so far this is reminiscent of <laughs> this is reminiscent of game number one you, you see that jejemon is ahead early and uh you can expect team 515 party to, to play a little safer but yeah very very different from game number one stephanie just takes uh the first death there and i think she yeah. needs to play it safer like just protect uh the popol and koopa definitely have to be safer and a while ago i think gushan was on the top side went on to the bottom side instead and re now rotating back to jungling going items for himself i think the hard part in here is that the question who we, are we gonna give the, the most gold? Is it going to be Lex on the Selena because he got the retribution, or is it gonna be OMGL or L Gaming with the execution? Execute. Mm. Well, it looks like L is not leaving the lane. And down bottom, that's Godzi going for a kill. MLR, that's Chang U going for Stephanie. And the perfect placement of the Zaman Force mm. to stop the Popol and Koopa in its tracks. Now Rox oh, trapping Renegade. Arrow thrown out by Lex. Gonna miss its mark. And they disengage. This is pretty... I, I think this is gonna boil down onto a close fight once more. Just like on game one. This could even... I don't know. Could be even again once a prolonged game. Like more than 20 minutes. If they continuously oh, no. doing that. Exchanges of objectives and kills. And yeah, quite passive in comparison to Game Channel 1. Resurrecting so soon. we just have yet to see how they're gonna go about it. Yep, and um... I don't know, uh, maybe the turnaround, maybe the comeback is a strategy that's valid, especially for Team 515, but it's not a sound strategy if you're going in with that mindset initially right like you have to go oh, for the comeback yeah. if you're losing don't go in planning to lose <laughs> yeah like <laughs> planning to lose early game time and then make a comeback but yeah, yeah. although team 515 party took down that turtle first turtle of the game one will be punished again it's l gaming this is not the l gaming that we've seen a while ago in game one he now has two deaths whenever he goes on top it seems like that's not a good matchup Gushin go go going to have a matchup against our Uranus, I think it's a bad idea. So maybe they just they should just like exchange lanes in here. Maybe the the Kimi and the Popol and Koopa going top side and uh, mm. L on the bot side. But maybe in general that Gushin is having a hard time going up against either either fighters on the top and bot side. For oh. the meantime, they got two kills so far. Other oh, that skirmish on the top and they're gonna be locking down one member. Thams. Renegade is all alone in here, he might get caught out. But unfortunately though, there's not enough flow of minion waves walking towards the bot side. But look at the poke done by Rox. That just made Sam's Renegade go back away. Yep, what a double there for Team 515. Evening the odds, or even better, going up ahead in gold. About a thousand now. And I, I really hate to be L right now because his lane sucks. Like, you're up against... <laughs> Tira on the Uranus and he's pushing, yeah. he's cutting your lane, right? So, but again, as L here, the direction, the directive, the instruction is to just hold on, all right? Cap it lang, yeah. laban lang. That's all he has to do. And he couldn't even last either on Uranus and Tham. So he just goes, okay, let's just go to the mid lane. But in here, Tira actually buying time, not allowing. Um, Lex, 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 and soon. L Gaming to. 
to roam around in other parts of the map. And I think that was a strategy. And look what happened. Because Tira advances even between that inhibitor and Tier 2 on the top side. The turtle on the top side died, or rather, it went down. But meantime, mm -hmm. Turtle has been slain once more by Team 5 on 5 Party. There's a flicker out by Rene J, and that was a good juke out to save his life. In a mid lane, though, Tira doing a good job in terms of managing the minion waves. Oh no, big fight happening. Lex caught out underneath the tip of the Zaman Force. But a revenge kill coming in. May get a double from Godzi. And L is in trouble here. Oh wow, they take out uh, Tira. And up next is going to be Rene J, the only survivor left from Team Jejumon. Popping the Inferno, able to take one out along the way. But it's a wipeout. Godzi is a maniac. will be on a 7-0-2 score. This player needs to be shot down if Team Jejumon wants to make a comeback. But with their lineup, having a Harith as their core, they are having a hard time. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, ooh. This is... Uh, Team Jejumon keeping the pressure but they know that they're behind like definitely just look at the gold levels here 18 to 16 it was at 18 to 15 earlier and just a matter of time before this third up top gets popped hold up stephanie a little too forward knocking from behind nice placement of the guardians barrier oh no stephanie's gonna go down here that's going to be doggy taking it rocks gets it revenge kill back to back by lex as well and just like that there's only so much 515 could do. Jejumon needs to back out of here while Kaisaya looks down bottom. That's going to be yeah. Godzi just working, working that turret. Yeah. And he, he was just basically all alone there, knowing that the members of Team Jejumon are on top side going for the turtle. I think this will be uncontested and will be secured once more. Three turtles on the side of 515 party. That's the reason why they got a good snowball and good amount of gold for themselves. Meanwhile, they're gonna get Nakula no. this one. Legendary now onto the hands of our Kimi. I think there's no stopping for the Kimi this time. I think 515 party, if they wipe out Team Jejumon once more, I think oh. they can even put an end onto this oh. game. And I think that's what they're doing right now because will be put into death once more and it's another objective and uh award for the Kimi getting the trip once more and even another legendary can you this smell a sweep Godzi legends picked up the glowing wand oh, they nice penetrated wall. mid yeah perfect wall uh, it, it's textbook wall yeah. they're gonna steal the orange here they penetrated mid, and I could have sworn that was going to be it, but it's Nakil on the defense. So. Yeah, Nakil nice on the defense, wall. very good. I mean, oh, that's... nice arrow! Oh, all right. It, it's, oh, Whoa. he got pulled in. That's going to be rocked down. Uh-oh. But I think that's fine for him for as long as they, they get the, the tier to turret on the top side. But yeah, um, going back to that almost finish in the middle lane part of the map a while ago, I really want to commend that the... Oh, at least uh, we have to say thanks to that wall from Knucklehead because if not, maybe the Team 5 on 5 party still got that one minion to at least help them maybe not end the game but at least take down the, the life of that base of Team Jejemon. But on the top side, mm -hmm. gotta comment as well, Rocks TV on that sacrificial lamb uh, <laughs> work. On the top side, allowing yeah. his members to to take that turret on the top. Yep. Although uh, possibly could have been avoided because he walked into the divine judgment from uh, Doggy. <laughs> but nonetheless, this is another threat here by Five One Five Party. Might go for the first lord of the game, man. Cause I, I gotta say, this game is just hypercharged. It's so fast. Like I I didn't notice we were uh, under ten minutes, and there's not much. Uh, our friend Nakil here can do as he's trapped in between L and Rocks. Hold up, where's the execute? He needs one more. There it is. L finally making the gushing work. 
with the execute, right? Um, there you go. Two members on the side of Team Digimon forced to back away right after they trap clear off the minion wave. Yeah. Onto the bot side, and look at that. They shot down the Kimmy. And the members of Team Digimon are attempting oh. to make a comeback all alone is Stephanie right now. So, as this Elena of Lex Saturna, but onto the back side, as we can see right now, oh. El Gaming trying to make a comeback for his name because he did bad on the early stages of this match. And now he said, oh, I'm gonna show you what a, a Sazen is like. Kesaya, that shutdown on Gaji could have possibly been a fortune. 11 and 4, yeah. you kill that one time. Imagine how much gold you're getting from that. And now they're going for a fight. Hold up! El has just went for the turn! Can they knock them out? Oh, he pays the price. Renegade and Doggy almost going down. Rock's gonna follow suit. Immortality pop here. He's not gonna survive. Maybe 515 is falling trap to their own bravado. This is their version of what Jejumon did earlier. Look at this. They started to fall down one at a time. And maybe Jejumon can make a comeback. Yeah, and they have to avoid that greedy place. Um, not because you got the lead, you can just go all in and not mind even the turrets or, or the potential of your opponent to set up and pull you just like what happened a while ago to Rock's TV on the top side. But then again, getting caught up in the bush, Selena in here going for a fight. Who's going to get the last hit? Apparently, it is V. Harris. Chang U will put down Lexa Tierna. One member down for 5 on 5 party and knowing that information, Team Jejumon could even like go for a push, but they said, okay, we have to be we have to be very careful now. No, not because okay, there's just four members of Team 5 on 5 party, then let's go all in. They they now mm -hmm. they're playing safe in here and I like how how Team Jejumon realized that coming from game one. Yep, Team Jejumon here definitely learning on the fly. Uh, definitely picking up on their mistakes. But yeah, with Lex here reviving in about a second, he's back on the map now. They have to they have to pick back up. They have to essentially recover what they lost in the past couple of team fights. I think key number one here, learning number one is to avoid getting caught by the Harris and by the Kaja. Those are super key. Now Nakil, nice bait. Down goes Doggy. No more Divine Judgment. Didn't even get to pop it. But L gets caught out. Harris gonna knock down the Gushen. There oh, you go, Lex Turner dashing Renegade. out. Renegade oh, taking Renegade. down Godzi. Oh no, this might be it, Kesaya. I think this is Team Judgment's hope to make a comeback and get a not, get a win against 5 on 5 party. I think we gotta commend what Renegade did in there. Basically just peeling off and sorting out Kimmy, the main threat. Uh, against Team Jejimon, taking down tier 2 turret on the mid side. As we can see in here, they are attempting to even take down inhibitor turret on the mid, but they have to be very careful because 7 seconds from now, L Gaming is about to come out and join the team fight because look at the sustain that uh, Rox has right now in terms of buying time. Yep, they're buying time, but the thing is, they have no damage. I think even L would not be enough. So here, the best bet for 515 party is for Jejumon to make the mistake and overstay their welcome, but that is not going to happen. 515 party, they're complete, and as soon as Godzi Legends comes back, the key for him here would be temperance. He has to be super disciplined. He has to make sure that there's more than one layer of protection, or else Renege could repeat what he did. Just dive in, pop the Inferno, and bite onto the Kimmy. For sure. Meantime, I think we have a skirmish on going onto the bot side. It's Uranus and uh, L looking at their health bars right now. It seems like L is on the losing side and forced to just back away. And look at that really fast Lord take. It is now again on the side of Team Digimon. I hope they don't put this into waste just like what they did in game one. We Whoa. just have to find out. Tira, good work here. Pushing that minion wave. Threatening the bottom lane, forcing 515 to answer. And um, yeah, Tira is just owning this lane again, just like in the early game. OMG, it's L. Nothing he can do against the Uranus, not at least by himself. Nah, -uh. against any fighter that has sustain, nah. -uh. He had a hard time. We, we saw that a while ago, early game time. He had a hard time. I, whenever, wherever he goes, top or bot, there's the. 
high sustain, high damage fighter beat a Uranus or a Tham, so he can just oh, no. go against maybe the Kimi. Not even, not even Akosidomi. It's gonna be the defense of a lifetime here for Team 515 Party. Oh, look at that. Rocks less than half life right now. The Lord is still all alive. It seems like Team Jajimon wants to put an end to this. They even took down and he returns on the top side. Oh, Uranus went down. This is one tanky hero, but forced to defend and go to the top side. is 515 Party because. Look at that, Renege, Uranus just attempt him to even uh, put an end oh. of the game by focus firing onto the base. But look at, look at that Chango in here having a 2v2 fight against Lexa Tierna and the Rocks TV. Who's gonna be safe, who's gonna tie? And I think it is oh. the Harriet as well as uh, Knucklehead going down. Oh, okay, so again, back and forth. Back and forth. Seems to be the story of this game now, Isaiah. Four for none here for Team 515 after Jejumon ravages their base. They only have one turret left, Isaiah. One turret left. And this is their only hope here to push into mid and force the finish. But can they do it? Yeah. Lex is way too far out. I think Lex is cleaning up the wave. Uh... But look at this. You're threatening Tira. Oh no, they got a pull on to the Goshen. He goes down. Up next is going to be... Oh, There's Rock, I could have sworn Rock was gonna go down. Hold up the base, they're targeting the base! Oh, it's the base. I just can't see it uh, though because of couldn't, the... Couldn't finish. The it, it's at three quarters. <laughs> it's at three quarters, it's fine. Yeah, well, and I think they tried their best. It just so happened uh, that... The Divine Judgment and of course the tankiness of the front line on the side of Team Jejumon is just way too much to handle. Even that it's just Akimi trying to work out on putting and uh, you know giving a lot of efforts in 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 putting down the HP bars of uh, of Knucklehead. Yeah, this Rage, should help. Gazi. Yeah, Gazi just picked up the um, oh, Ice Queen man. wand, but. Look at that pull on the legs. He survives. Knucklehead gonna go down. Nice turn here from Team 515 Party. They're waiting for rocks. They're threatening MLR. Changu gonna get his immortality popped here. Uh -oh. Is it? Yes, it is. L is going to go for the bite. There you go. That's two for none. Thunderbelt picked up by Stephanie Kaisaya. It's so close. Oh, they, do they have to just watch out, not make a mistake. Tira trying to go for the assassinate while Renegade waiting in the wings. Look at Renegade. Look at Renegade. Oh, they really want to get this target first before they go for a fight. But look at the minion waves on the top side while trying to chase down Tira. They have to be attentive on, on that mini map. They have to back away. And I think that's what uh, Godzilla Legends is about to do next, right after he takes down. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, it's fine. They're fine. They got it. They got it. That was close. That was close. They like to live on the edge, guys. That was close. <laughs> Just because they are Almost. minions, you, you don't care about their damage. Oh no, another lord has come upon us, Kaisaya. Another lord, another chance here for the turnaround. Oh yeah. Who's gonna get this? Oh though? wow. The Rai is about to come. But the position and the, the, the... Yeah, the position is on the hands of Team Dejamon right now to take down <clears throat> yeah. that next lord. lord. Yeah. Yep, the, the, the waves are there on their side, so uh, they have more space to move around, more room to breathe. But nonetheless, both teams have all members on the map once more. It's a 5v5 party. We're about to take it to the next level. From Earth to Space, Mobile Legends top the race. Here we go. All five members are about to come in. Kaisaya, I think L here has built upon a nice empire of his own. 10 to 6. Nice maximum charge here by God to set it up. Rock, go for the stretch, a retreat. Mm -hmm. Looks like both of them wants to force a fight in this one. This is end game now. Um, maybe almost all of them got the complete item. Oh, like, oh, Doggy, nice yeah, pull! Nice pull to Gazi! Gazi survives! Oh wow, that was so painful. The perfect disaster. The perfect disaster here for Team 515 Party. And I think this is going to be their downfall, their Waterloo. The many moments that 
Godzi Legends wishes he was not there. We might see game three against Aya. It's more likely we are than we won't. Team Jajamon is just a matter of time. They take game number two. It is a one.